Hi, I'm Dr. Alan Mendelson from Eye Surgeons and Consultants in Hollywood, Florida. Today, I'd like to talk about angle closure glaucoma, also called narrow angle glaucoma. Now, by far the most common type of glaucoma is chronic open angle glaucoma, where the treatment is eye drops. In fact, the eye drops work 99.9% .9 of the time. Narrow angle glaucoma or angle closure is a totally different entity and the treatment actually is surgical and it is an emergency, let me explain. So in the eye, when we are born, faucet turns on, there's cells in the ciliary epithelium, they make fluid, anywhere from two to three microliters per minute, usually about 2.5 microliters a minute, and the fluid keeps running. There's a second area in the eye, just like a sink has a drain, there's a sponge-like material that's the drain in the eye called the trabecular meshwork. There are large holes, smaller holes, different size holes, the fluid will drain out. What happens with angle closure glaucoma is the faucet keeps running, but unlike the chronic open where the holes just gradually over time get clogged up, all of a sudden, it's like paper towels being thrown over the drain. So imagine the sink of something that's totally covering the drain and the fluid's being made at the same rate. If the fluid can't get out, the fluid's going to overflow the sink. Well, the same concept happens in the eye, where the pressure suddenly will go from teens to 20s to 30s to 40s to 50s. It's an absolute eye emergency where an individual, God forbid, can be blinded even that day from an angle closure attack. So how does someone know that they have a glaucoma attack? Their vision will become blurred, glary, hazy. Not always, but frequently they'll also have nauseousness or feel sick to the stomach. They'll come in, what do we see on our examination? Well, first of all, their vision is down especially if it's a patient we've seen before and we know what level of vision they're seeing on the chart, the vision's much more blurry. We check the pupil. Instead of the normal healthy appearing pupil, it's mid-dilated and it's a sluggish appearing pupil. On our examination, we'll see the cornea is swollen. Pressure is markedly elevated. The eye is in a glaucoma attack. We will put a little instrument on the eye called a gonioscope and we'll see that the drain is closed off so fluid cannot drain out. That is angle closure glaucoma or narrow angle. I'm going to show, for example, on this screen, this is narrow angle glaucoma. So here we have a human eye, a model. Cornea is the clear dome over the eye, the nerve in the back of the eye. Pretend this individual's lying on their back, looking up to the ceiling, and within the eye itself, we have the cornea, the clear dome, the lens in the eye, so the fluid is made here in the ciliary processes of the ciliary body, and normally the fluid should go between the lens and the iris through the pupil aperture. But we can see what's happened is it's blocked. Again, like putting paper towels over the drain, that trabecular meshwork area is blocked. Fluid accumulates in the eye. It is nowhere to go. It's trapped and the pressure becomes elevated, elevated, elevated. Well, that elevated pressure will damage the nerve in the back of the eye and can and will blind an eye. So I'm going to talk treatment in a moment. Who is predisposed to this? Number one is, with normal aging changes, the incidence goes up considerably. People in their 20s and 30s, it's very rare. People in their 70s, 80s, it's much more common. What's the difference with age? The difference with age is the lens in the eye. So, as a teenager, or 20s, or 30s, the lens, besides being clear, the lens is very thin. So imagine schematically, let's pretend that the lens is that thickness in a 20 or 30 year old and a nice clear lens. But in our 50s, our 60s, our 70s, our 80s, the lens gets thicker and thicker and gray and cloudy. Now we all know about cataracts where the lens is gray and cloudy, 
but because it's now becoming thicker as well, the cataract can push forward, push the iris. So again, almost like taking an open drain, but as the cataract pushes forward, it's like putting paper towels over the drain, causing the angle closure attack. So clearly, the number one risk factor is ensuing ears. But also there are variations. For example, women are two to four more times more likely to have this develop than men. There's some ethnic variabilities. Asians are much more likely to develop than non-Asians. And another issue is the actual length of the eye. So for example, let's pretend from the front of the eye, the cornea, to the optic nerve, there's a certain length called the axial length. Some people, the eyes are a little bit shorter, like in hyperopes, people who are farsighted. People with longer eyes or myopes or nearsighted. Those who are hyperopic, who have a farsighted prescription, are far more likely to develop angle closure glaucoma because everything is compacted and the pressure becomes elevated. So angle closure is a true eye emergency and it needs immediate attention. The eye drops used for chronic open angle glaucoma will not do the trick. Someone will lose their eyesight. One of the concerns is with the drop in vision is that I mentioned before the GI upset, the nausea, sometimes vomiting. Unfortunately, some people will think that they have other things going on. They'll either be stoic and tough it out, or they'll go to an urgent care center or an emergency room because all of a sudden they become extremely ill. But meanwhile, the guilty culprit is actually the eye with a markedly elevated pressure. So in the next segment, I'm going to talk specifically how we treat this emergency, but it's definitely an ocular emergency. Thank you very much.